Hey, I'm Joseph, and I'd like to talk about Istio today. So you first might ask, uh, why another Istio talk? And my answer is, uh, Istio is a hype right now. And I think it's our job to ground this uh, hype a little bit by um, bringing Istio into practice. And that's my job for today. Um, so what's behind Istio? The reason why Istio is so attractive is um, that, yeah, in, in the current situation, microservices have to address a lot of cross-cutting concerns coming from the cloud-native style. And um, they can address uh, those concerns by integrating libraries into the application itself. But this leads to a um, huge problem. It's, uh, you can call it library bloat. So you have a lot of libraries integrated into your not so microservice application then. And um, so um, the basic idea is um, to move those cross-cutting so concerns out of the application side into the infrastructure side. And this is what Istio is all about. Um, to unburden those microservice applications of addressing those um, cloud-native concerns. Um, so now let's uh, dig into Istio itself. The first thing to do is um, to install a Kubernetes cluster. Um, I'm using um, Docker CE Edge right now to have uh, my local cluster running. And um, yeah, next step is to deploy Istio in a small sample application. So now let me fake um, a demo. So the first thing is uh, to set up Istio, to download Istio, and uh, to mount the binaries into the past, to have cube, uh, Istio CTL available on the command line tool. Then you can deploy Istio on the cluster. Um, you have your pods running, and then you have a magic tool um, enhancing the cluster to auto um, sidecar the pods um, with a Istio um, container to sidecar container and you label your namespaces to be auto sidecar with Istio and the final step is uh, to deploy the book info sample application and it's now up and running the sample application as well as Istio and um, the sample application is enhanced uh, by Istio sidecars. So the next thing is um, to um, set up an observability stack on top of Istio. This is also a little fake demo here. Um, first, you have to deploy um, and expose Prometheus. Um, then um, you deploy and expose Grafana. Um, now you can access the Grafana dashboard. Next step is to deploy an EFK stack. Um, by deploying it and then exposing it, um, no, um, Kibana is accessible. The final step is to deploy Jaeger, and now Jaeger is also available. So now let's see this a little bit in action. I've um, uh, met um, with a tool called Slapper. It's um, my most favorite tool I discovered within the last 48 hours, and it's uh, a load generator and you can generate load on this sample application. And when I switch over um, to Grafana board, I can see that the load is uh, coming here and it's, um, yeah, it's already um, observable. You have your Jaeger UI, you can access the traces here, you can see which are the slowest running requests and you can dig into those traces where the root causes are and you also have your Kibana um, on board to analyze your logs. So now let's get to an end um, by uh, providing some samples how you can play around um, with this Istio stack um, deployed right now. Um, this is a sample code for A-B testing, some descriptors and how you can um, deploy them, um, how to do rolling upgrades with Istio, how to do blue-green deployments. Um, this is one sample for access control in between services, um, egress rules, 
Um, this is how to deploy a circuit breaker, um, latency injection, all those nitty-gritty stuff, um, error injection, and um, for those of you who are not capable to read so fast, um, all this code <laughs> is, uh, you can find this code in um, the slides on GitHub. So thanks from my side. <laughs>